Well, Elijah knew Jehovah Jireh. In the days of King Ahab, king of Israel, the Bible tells us that Ahab made a grove and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him. It seems that the kings of Israel were trying to outdo one another just to see how evil they could be and Ahab was winning. And so as this ungodly king arises to the throne, a godly prophet is brought on the scene. And in chapter 17, Elijah just appears. We don't know where he came from. We don't have any history about him. He just shows up and he comes and he announces and he says, King, he said, it's not going to rain in the land of Israel except at my word. And the Bible tells us it lasted over three years, this incredible drought and famine, during which time Jehovah Jireh provided for Elijah. He told him, he said, get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. <laughs> I love it. Can't you just see? He's, he's hanging out there in this, this area. So Samaria's here. He, he goes way east from Samaria, out into the desert, along this little brook where he's got some water to drink. And every day the ravens bring him some bread, and they bring him some meat. Every day, every morning, and every evening. And it says it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up and <clears throat> because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. Now, here's what's so amazing about this. In the book of Luke, Jesus points out that during that famine, God could have sent Elijah anywhere that he wanted him to, but he sent him out of the land of Israel. He sent him to Zidon, way up north, to a widow woman there, a non-Israelite, a Zidonian woman. And yet God had commanded this woman to feed him. Now, she, she didn't know how she was going to do this. And when Elijah shows up, she's broke and there's a famine in her land as well. And she doesn't have much. He tells her, he says, hey, he says, uh, uh, you know, won't you make me something to eat? He rose, went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the woman was there gathering sticks, and he called to her and said, fetch me, I pray, thee a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, bring me, I pray, thee a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, as the Lord God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in, dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Now, what an incredible statement that Elijah makes. You see, he absolutely knew that God was going to provide for them, absolutely knew that he was going to take care of them. And it says, and she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her house did eat many days. And she's broke. She's destitute. She's completely out of everything. She said, I've got enough meal and enough oil to make one more meal big enough for me and my son, and then we're out and we're just going to die. And it says, And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. You see, this is Jehovah Jireh. This is the God who provides for us. He sent the ravens to come and bring Elijah food. He, he miraculously caused this, this little jar of oil to have enough oil every day. I bet it wasn't ever full. I bet every day she went in and she had just enough to, to make some chapatis, to make some tortillas for them. And they survived until it finally rained in the land. God is faithful. He is Jehovah Jireh. He will provide for his children. We need to trust him. We need to seek his kingdom first, and we need to trust him. I hope you know Jehovah Jireh today. God bless you. Have a great day.